Tall to me. Tall oh, more tall. <laughs> short to me. <laughs> like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Well, tying a knot with someone isn't easy. We all know that, right? It's the most difficult and beautiful commitment to be engaged in loving someone with all your heart for the rest of your lives. So, in today's video, you will see some of the specific cringe scenes of Big Ed that have grabbed the attention of viewers, mainly because of being insane. Don't rush and stick to your seats to watch the clips of the times Big Ed went insane on 90 Day Fiance. Let's have a look. You're my best view. Me. Meeting at the airport. Tall to me. Not tall, easy. more tall. Short to me. <laughs> we have seen Big Ed talk a lot about the importance of honesty in a relationship, especially when he wanted to know regarding Rose's past. Although he was the one who lied in the relationship in the first place. That was one of the things he did and told her about his height that he was 5'2", when in reality, nothing was even close to it. His height only measured up to 4 feet 11 inches. I mean, what a hypocrite! Rose didn't know about it when she decided to meet him, and when the couple arrived at the airport to meet each other, Rose was stunned when she got a look at him for the first time, because he was significantly shorter than her. Even you can clearly see a burden of disappointment on her face. She even mentioned in front of the crew that she wasn't expecting that from Big Ed, as he had lied in a politely awkward moment. But still, she did not make a big fuss about it. According to him, he thought if he told her that he has the same height, maybe he would have a chance. But if you search him on Instagram throughout his posts, you can still find the comments of fans of the show asking him why he lied to Rose about how tall he is. Gifts of $5,000 when the 54-year-old divorcee was making up his mind about visiting this new love of his life who was much younger for the first time, finally, at a last-minute decision, he made a move to spoil her. He even mentioned that Rose hasn't received any of the many gifts that he has sent because she lives in a very poor and remote area. Well, less than a week before traveling to meet Rose in person, he decided to send her some worth-giving presents, but on the show, it turned out that it wasn't the first time he'd done that. Ed claimed that since they became official, he had been sending Rose gifts every week. He even revealed that he has probably spent $5,000 on the gifts plus shipment. One of the crew members asked him what he's been sending her all this time, to which he replied, this time I'm sending the smaller one. Big Ed also told the crew that Rosemary had not received any of the gifts because she lived in a very remote area. Therefore, it must be quite challenging for courier services to deliver the packages. But he still made up his mind to continue sending gifts to Rosemary, despite knowing whether or not she would get them. I'm gonna be there in a week. I'm, I'm flying 6,000 miles. Asking Rose to take an STD test. You test me? A test for, um, I don't know if you understand it, it's um, STD. If you as we know from the start that Big Ed seemed to have some clear concerns over Rose's past and trustworthiness, the reality is, he also doesn't have a stainless past himself, as he was a divorcee and his wife divorced him after knowing about his disloyalty. Despite being a liar and hiding his infidelity, he showed that he is quite seriously obsessed with the idea of making sure that Rose should get an STD test. On a dinner date, not only did he ask Rose to get the test done, because previously he did not trust her in regard to his exes, but actually, before asking her, he had not even got one himself. I mean, how could that be fair in a relationship if you're serious with someone? Rose then asked him to clarify what he meant. He replied with quite an audacity that, no, it's just a simple blood test to see if you have any sexually transmitted diseases. Then, in reply, she asked him to get the test done with her. But he refused straight to her face, because he did not trust Philippine doctors, and he didn't feel safe coming to them at the hospital. When the crew asked her how that felt, she said that she felt her heart was cracked. By the way, I don't think I need to add that 90 Day Fiancé fans were quite disturbed and disappointed, as they weren't impressed with such sort of Ed's behavior towards Rose regarding the STD test, just for his own satisfaction. In fact, one of the fans gave quite a bold statement that Ed wasn't serious in looking for a relationship, but instead, he dated a younger girl just to control her. But having more kids is not something that I want. 
Ed asked Rose to shave her legs. As this is a show about finding a loving partner, in one of the scenes, there was quite a cringy situation when viewers got to see Big Ed and Rose lying in bed together. Big Ed was seen asking Rose for a kiss when she mentioned to him that his beard gave her a beard burn. Then, Ed made up his mind to present an idea without asking her that he would shave his beard if she shaved her legs first. Many fans who have been watching this show from past seasons do understand that some foreigner participants do not come from financially strong backgrounds, even though we know that different people have different hygiene practices. Even in a poorer country, for a single mother of one, it's quite hard to make ends meet, so shaving the legs is not a priority for such people. It seemed that Big Ed had never learned from past incidents that ended his marriage, as he decided to ask with so much audacity from his girlfriend that she should shave her legs, as he finds legs more attractive after shaving. She shaved her legs and then showed to Big Ed. He replied with two words. Very nice. I don't think I have to say that because of all that cringe favor, Rose got offended and looked quite uninterested. And it's obvious that, unlike the STD test, this is not a health concern query to ask, but it was a personal preference that Ed was seen forcing on her in the name of love. Big Ed and his Halik to Rosemary when both of the couple's fights ended, Big Ed finally decided to do something thoughtful and loving for his love by giving her a foot massage. For that, he set the whole thing up by ordering champagne, just to make sure he can make her mood good. He even also bought the oil and started forcefully asking Rose to take a warm shower. In fact, you can see that she was wearing pink lingerie underneath, but he still kept pushing her for a warm shower. While on the other hand, Rose can be seen quite uncomfortable and alarmed due to all of his tactics to make her mood good. However, he made the situation quite worse and awkward when he dared to ask Rose how to say kiss in Filipino. She replied that it was called halik in Filipino, and in return, he proposed to her and said, I halik you. After learning that Rose looked like she's in shock, she pointed to her cheek and forehead in that cringe favor. Although eventually, she involuntarily pecked him on the lips. Your legs were kind of like mine. <laughs> they were hairy. At market, Ed had an argument with Rose. You start asking people around yourself why they are even with you and what was the special thing that made them stay with you when you have insecurities. That's exactly what was happening with Ed, as he was very much concerned about his looks. Of course, he knew that Rose is younger and prettier than him, as he's quite older than her. So, he kept asking her that question, as he had a thought that Rose is with him for his money. In fact, at the marketplace, they even fought when Big Ed questioned her intentions. He even claimed that she's scamming him for money. If you ask me, then I would really want to suggest to Big Ed that he should know that this is the worst, meanest, and the last thing you should say to your girlfriend. But if he wants to stay with Rose, then he should keep such silly things off the table. Ed started acting weird about Rose's breath. Nobody really likes bad breath, but if the love of your life or your partner has bad breath, it can be a big turnoff for real. But never start pointing it out at your partner's face if they have it. It's decently better to give them a hint rather than making them feel uncomfortable. But that's what Ed did. I mean, what else can we expect? He went straight to Rose and told her that she had bad breath. Even the most strange and awful thing he did, he gave her an oral hygiene packet of mouthwash, a brush, and toothpaste. Before he was about to give her that packet, Rose became quite excited about it because she thought that it must be something nicer to a girl. But what did he actually get for her? What a major embarrassment! Then Rose told him with a disgusting face, as it was clear from her facial expression that she didn't like this act of Ed, that she has an ulcer, that's why her breath isn't so good. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching, and if you guys found it interesting, I would much appreciate it if you comment down below about the video and leave a thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get updates related to our latest videos.